what's in a day? The potential to make a new beginning. The potential to make a new start. The potential to tell yourself, all my yesterdays are over yesterday. To draw a line to the past. And to tell yourself, my entire future begins today. It's not about what I have been. It's not about what I was. It's not about how my past has been. It's not about how I have lived every year of my life to this date. Yesterday was over yesterday. A time comes in the life of every caterpillar when it decides that it will not be a caterpillar anymore. And that's when it becomes a butterfly. A time comes in the life of every Atma that does not want to live a life as an ordinary Atma anymore. And that's the beginning of a Mahatma. A time comes in the life of everybody where she realizes she can be much, much more than just a mere school teacher. And that's the beginning of a social revolution. A time comes in the life of every human being to be awakened. A time comes when somehow a mere piece of a bulk rock catches the imagination of a sculptor. And that's the beginning of some world-class sculptures to emerge. A time comes when the canvas that has been sleeping as a pile of stationery for days together suddenly catches the attention of a painter. And that's the beginning of a world-class painting to emerge. We all wake up to another sunrise. We will all wake up to another day. February 19th, 2012 can just be another day in your calendar. It can just be another Sunday in your life. Or in a few of our cases, it can become the turning point of our life. Not because I'm talking today. I keep talking every day. But because you decide I've lived my life the way I've lived my life right through. Maybe you've had a glorious past. Maybe you've been a happy person. Maybe you've been doing justice to your potential. But in the heart of every heart, every individual knows, if you're honest with yourself, that we have not done justice to our own potential. We may be a success in the eyes of the world. We may be a success compared to our peer group. We may be a success compared to a lot of other people who began the journey along with us. And maybe you are already a role model, a mentor, a coach, an inspiration, a beacon, a godfather, a living role model to a lot of other people. Maybe there are a lot of people who are growing on a daily basis looking at your life and looking at the possibilities that can unfold through your life. But you... If you are honest with yourself in the heart of your heart. And ask this question unto yourself. Am I doing complete justice to my potential? And if you can listen to those honest whispers. That your own conscience tells you. And that's the beginning of an awakening. That's the beginning when you tell yourself. Enough is enough. That I have lived my life. The way I have lived my life. Even if it is beautiful, it can be more beautiful. Even if it has been happy, it can be much more happier. Even if you in the eyes of the world is already a success. Still probably you only scratch the surface of your potential. And a time comes in the life of every human being. And I wish it comes sooner than later in the lives of all of us. When we wake up one sunrise and tell ourselves, my yesterdays are over with yesterdays. Today is a new beginning. Today is the first day to the rest of my life. It could be about yourself. It could be about relationships. And make this decision to make a new start to a phenomenal future that can be built from here onwards. Every time I meet an indisciplined person. Every time I meet a smoker. Every time when I find an alcoholic. Who has become an absolute slave to his habits. Every time when people know. 
that it is affecting their throat, it's affecting their tongue. And they see people die of throat cancer around because of their chewing habits. I'm not here necessarily to reform every individual, but I do appeal to each one of them and ask them this question. You have lived your life for so many years, any way you want. Wouldn't it be magnificent if you make a decision today? I've lived my entire life any way I want till now. I ate whatever I saw. I smoked whenever I felt. I drank whenever I needed. In fact, it has come to a stage where I have become such an introverted communicator. I am not able to even communicate because of my chewing habits. And the culture being people who are related to us has to unconditionally accept us and continue to love us. Maybe you are never the father your children want. Maybe you are never the husband your wife cherishes. Maybe you are not the person with whom the next generation can be inspired to live. The fact is every life that is sitting here has only two possibilities. Your life will either be an example to the next generation or your life will be a warning to the next generation. Only one of the two possibilities. Some adult out there in your family is going to tell those little children, either showing your life and saying, you should come up in life like that uncle, you should live your life like that auntie, or somewhere you are going to be used as a reference of a warning and they are told, at least you don't be like that uncle. Maybe your own wife is sometimes telling your children, at least you don't be like your father. Now, our life is either going to be an example to the world or it's going to be a warning to the world. Around the same time, two contemporary leaders lived. Mahatma Gandhi continues to be an example to the world and Adolf Hitler continues to be a warning to the world. In your own right, you are either going to be a living example, a living inspiration to the rest of the world.